Plants vs. Zombies was one of my absolute favorite games as a kid. I played through the entire campaign multiple times on my PC, played through all the mini games, messed with cheat codes, and played through the game even more times on my DS. So today, I thought it'd be pretty fun to revisit the almanac and take a look at the many products that have been released over the years. Plants vs. Zombies isn't really that big of a franchise, so the majority of the products are just your simple plushies and figures of every character. But after digging a little deeper, I discovered a whole rabbit hole of weird unexplainable knockoffs. Many of these products are just downright peculiar little rascals, so this video will primarily be focused on knockoffs with a few official items here and there too. But with all that out of the way, let's take a look at some plushies. As it turns out, almost 100% of Plants vs. Zombies plushies are most likely just knockoffs. Literally every single listing on Amazon has something wrong with it, such as bad English or no PopCap or Plants vs. Zombies branding anywhere. But the funniest thing is that a bunch of them either look really scuffed or just get the plant design completely wrong. This one at least gets the cherry bomb design mostly correct, but for some reason it says, when you are angry you can pinch it to make you happy. What is this supposed to mean? Is this like the game mechanic the plushie comes with? There's also this cherry bomb plushie that for some reason is one cherry on a stem? What the frick is even going on here? He also has this little thing on the top like it's an apple, but that also doesn't make sense because apples don't grow from the ground like this. And the jalapeno right next to him doesn't have a pupil in his right eye? There's also this Gatling pea shooter that I thought was kind of funny because the barrels are just going in random directions. It kind of looks like he just has a bunch of cigarettes in his mouth. We also have this silly bean goober and it looks like it's supposed to be the spring bean from PVZ2. But instead of giving him a cool coil stem, they just gave him a weird droopy tail. And speaking of beans, there's also this one that looks like it's supposed to be the chili bean plant, but for some reason they named it spring beans. It just looks so funny funny that there's this stupid clip art sign above him that just says spring beans in all lowercase. There's the corn catapult plushie with no catapult part, and this jalapeno that looks mentally insane. But if you thought those were weird, it gets even worse. Here's the plant called Chomper. A classic little fellow. A little bit scary, but like in a friendly way, you know? But this guy has literally zero brain cells and will attack anything that moves. But it still gets worse because this plushie of him is the most infamous. This creature contains so much vicious rage within, to the point where the knockoff company literally called him Cannibal Flower. This specific weird chomper design is used by a bunch of different knockoff companies, sometimes with a zombie sticking out of his mouth too. Alright, so I have one of the cursed chomper plushies right here. He's so freaking scary looking, oh my gosh, I hate this thing. His jaw bones are like really strong though, I can't squeeze it. <laughs> he makes a noise when you make him actually chomp. He's actually so cute. Look, he has one fang out. Look at his tooth. <laughs> also, for some reason, he comes with like a suction cup attachment. Do I really need to keep my chomper plush on standby dangling from the freaking wall? Oh god. The reason why it looks so unapologetically insane is because this plushie isn't even based off of the original Chomper plant. It's actually based off of this specific fan art from an unknown artist. But the Doom Shroom plushie has got to be the most horrible and laziest depiction of any plant as a plushie ever. As you can see, the Doom Shroom is a pretty simple design. There's no way they can mess it up that badly, right? Wrong. It's literally a freaking gray ball with eyes. And the eyes aren't even angry looking. They're just slightly droopy and depressed. Look at this droopy little guy. I can't believe this goober actually looks like this. <laughs> Squishing it feels kind of nice though, not gonna lie. <laughs> Honestly, I'm kind of growing attached to this thing. Just look at his sad little eyes. Pet, pet, pet. This guy also comes with a suction cup for some reason. So let's just try to attach him to the wall. Look at him go! <laughs> but every once in a while, they get a design so horribly wrong that it's pretty much an entirely new being. Such as this goober right here. He looks so polite. Just look at his tiny little face. I genuinely have no clue what plant this is even supposed to be. There's nothing in any descriptions that suggest anything. Thing. Not even the reviewers know. Although my son likes this plant, he's not sure which, if any, game or book this plant is from. After looking through literally every single plant from every single PVZ game, the only logical
logical conclusion I could come to is that it's a weirdly adjusted pea shooter with possible inspiration from the bamboo shoot plant that shoots upwards, but it's honestly kinda charming. There's just something about his tiny cute face and his squishy little weirdly shaped body that's just really scrungly. At this point he's an entirely new being, a freaking Plants vs Zombies homunculus that has been wrongfully birthed into this world. I think the right thing to do here is to give him a proper name so he can live his life in peace. So go suggest some names for this goofball in the comments. And in a few days I'll set up a poll in the community tab of the channel to decide his name. If you want to be notified when this poll goes up make sure to turn on bell notifications and if you're watching in the future the winning name will be in the pinned comment. Hold up while editing this video I actually found out what the true origin story of this plushie is. Back in 2010 before PVC2 came out there were a bunch of fake leaks people were making of plants and zombies they wanted for the sequel. This is one of those fake plants called Bursa and that's what the plushie is based off of. Although we can still continue with giving him a new name because Bursa sounds kind of dumb. And there's also a few more knockoff plushies based off of the other PVC2 leaks such as the garlic angel plush and the grass skirt zombie. All of these characters have never been featured in a single game so it's really funny that knockoff companies actually made plushies of them. But with all the plushies out of the way let's move on to a bunch of random gizmos and gadgets I found. Starting out with this potato mine thing. I think it just lights up and plays an exploding sound whenever you press the button and sadly the shipping was too long so I couldn't get one to try out. Also some of the pictures have some extra information for us to take a look at such as plant color big. Press the head trigger acousto optic effect? The explosion will be triggered in three seconds. Wait a second is this a toy or an actual explosive? There's also this cursed zombie shooting game that comes with corn guns. For some reason the zombie is wearing a cowboy outfit and you shoot a target inside his mouth. We also got the hungry hungry hippos pvz version and this one's store page comes with a freaking let's play no way. Wow would you look at that riveting gameplay. But the most interesting thingamajig is this teeth pushing chomper game. It's based off of the classic crocodile dentist toy where you press the teeth buttons until one of them makes it randomly bite your finger. Also for some reason the store page refers to the chomper as piranha. Like did they forget what series they're knocking off and thought this was a Mario Piranha plant? Open the big mouth of the piranha. Let's start the gamble. Press the teeth we race to see who gets bitten by the piranha first. Oops, accidentally bitten by a piranha. When pressing the organic teeth, close the mouth and make sound and light sound. All right, so I have a few questions. Um, what? Let's just open this up and see what happens. There it is. <laughs> Let's unwrap the contraption. Oh God, it's scary. Do I just start now? Wait. He's freaking boogieing down on me. Nah, oh, I freaked the speed run. Ow. This contraption is so dangerous. All right, I think I'm done with this thing. <laughs> As it turns out, there's actually even more of these dangerous finger biting contraptions, like the cursed vicious sunflower, a snapdragon, a thunder snapdragon, and a Dr. Zomboss with a robot shark. The sunflower one is so freaking terrifying. Just look at this absolute scallywag. I thought they made up the scary design themselves, but it's actually based off of the primal sunflower from PVZ2. And as usual, there's just pure unexplained explainable English on the store page. Playing is Heartbeat, a toy that exercises your baby's courage and guts. What do they mean by this? If I gave this to a baby to exercise their courage, they'd probably just end up with childhood trauma. Random, organ. Light sound, effect. Pick the blame, stimulate. I'm not even gonna try to unpack this. I genuinely cannot fathom what this is supposed to mean. We also have a tutorial, so let's see what that says. Open the mouth of the hand-biting sunflower. That's just a self-report right there. This thing is meant to cause harm. Take turns pressing your teeth with your partners. Did they mean pressing your own teeth or the sunflower's teeth? The dental organs change randomly in each game. Did they really just refer to teeth as dental organs? I'm gonna refer to my teeth as dental organs from now on. When pressed to the relevant teeth, close your mouth and make a luminous effect. Are they instructing me to make a luminous effect? How does one do such a thing? My final observation of this here mechanism is that the eyes look photoshopped on in every picture, so I just had to buy one to see how it looks like in person. Um, editors know this thing never arrived, so whenever it does arrive, I'll post a video of it on my Twitter. Sorry about that. While we're on the topic of games, there's also Plants vs. Zombies Yahtzee with a funny zombie head to put the dice in, and a freaking PVZ Monopoly. But the most interesting one is the PVZ version of Risk. Risk is a board game about international war strategy, so it's really funny that they just replaced that with Plants vs. 
versus zombies. The world map is replaced with a new Pangea-like continent that's shaped like a brain, with Plants vs. Zombies themed locations. The board also comes with another side that completely changes the game into an actual adaptation of the original video game, which is really cool. But the weirdest way to play Plants vs. Zombies has got to be this freaking thing. This little LCD game was given out in Burger King Kids Meals in 2015, and it's such an incredibly primitive piece of technology. Like, handheld games from the 80s were more advanced than this. Although it was given out for free at a fast food restaurant, it's still kinda disappointing how bad it is. You just move a pea shooter up and down and press a button to shoot the zombies. It doesn't even go on forever either, it just randomly ends and plays a lazy attempt at the winning sound from the original game. It also attempts to do the losing sound as well. There's also a bunch of other random miscellaneous PVC toys, like these transforming ones that kind of remind me of the McDonald's changeables from the previous video. There's even these terrible bubble pop toys and this weird zombie ooze slime toy. I guess you fill up a zombie head with slime and squeeze it until the eyes pop out. God, I hate slime toys so much, that's so weird. It's mysteriously out of stock everywhere, so thankfully I have an excuse to not buy this for the video. But for the final product, there's an entire line of these cursed plants vs. Zombies Halloween costumes. We've got the Pea Shooter, Frozen Pea Shooter, Chomper, Sunflower, and even a zombie. And yeah, that's about it for the... Please don't make me wear this, I really don't want to do that. Please no! Fine, I'll do it. Oh god, look at this abomination. Oh no! Is this the head? <laughs> it's so big! It smells so bad. It smells like hay. I don't want to do this, man. <laughs> Suiting up for trolling. <laughs> We got some shoes, leaf gloves. Yes, I am photosynthesizing. This thing smells so bad. Ew, someone died in here. I'm gonna hold my breath. Let me try that again. I did it. Do I look good? Here's the full turnaround of this wretched costume. <laughs> I'm gonna contract several diseases after this video. I'm done photosynthesizing! Anyways, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and comment what your favorite game in the series is. But before you go, I finally finished my new merch store, PolygonDonut.com. There's a bunch of really cool stuff there, and I'll be adding more and more products over time. There's tie-dye shirts, cat meme timeline posters, stickers, a holographic rainbow sticker, and more. It all ships internationally as well, so wherever you are in the world, if you want to help support me, go to polygondota.com or click on the store page on my channel. Also, make sure to go check out the behind the scenes of this video on my second channel, More Polygon Donut. There's also stream highlights and nutshell videos there too. Okay, bye!